I was researching hurricanes for an upcoming video idea when I came across the Frequently Asked Questions page on the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's website. One of the most commonly asked questions was if we could destroy a hurricane by dropping a nuclear bomb on it. Apparently every hurricane season this question pops up, so with the 2019 hurricane season just beginning, could we destroy a hurricane by dropping a nuke on it? Firstly we need to understand what a hurricane is. Hurricanes, typhoons or cyclones are all the same term for a tropical cyclone. If a tropical cyclone forms over the Atlantic Ocean or the Eastern Pacific Ocean, we call these hurricanes. Hurricanes are a rotating low pressure weather system made up of organized thunderstorms with sustained winds of at least 74 miles per hour. Hurricanes don't just appear, there are storms which go through different progressive levels. A hurricane starts out as a tropical disturbance over warm waters where rain clouds are building. A tropical disturbance can go on to become a tropical depression, which is an area of rotating thunderstorms with maximum sustained winds up to 38 miles per hour. Tropical depressions go on to become a tropical storm if it has sustained winds reach up to 73 miles per hour, and a tropical storm becomes a hurricane if it has sustained winds equal or exceed 74 miles per hour. Warm ocean waters with surface temperatures of at least 79 degrees Fahrenheit and higher are an ingredient for hurricanes to form. The other main ingredient is that winds don't change too much in speed or direction so that the storm doesn't get ripped apart. Hurricanes get their energy from warm water oceans and in the process of water vapour condensing into rain droplets. With the heat released during this condensation warming the surrounding air, causing more seawater to evaporate, condense and the cycle continues over and over. Hurricanes are put onto a wind scale from 1 to 5 based on their sustained wind speed. A category 1 hurricane means sustained winds of 74 to 95 miles per hour. A category 2 hurricane means sustained winds of 76 to 110 miles per hour. A category 3 hurricane means sustained winds of 111 to 129 miles per hour. A category 4 hurricane means sustained winds of 130 to 156 miles per hour. And a category 5 hurricane means sustained winds of 157 miles per hour or higher. Hurricanes release an enormous amount of energy. There are two ways we can look at the energy output of a hurricane. Through the amount of heat energy released by the condensation of water droplets, or by the amount of kinetic energy generated to maintain the winds of the hurricane. Hurricanes tend to on average have a radius of 665 kilometers and produce about 2.1 times 10 to the power of 16 centimeters cubed of rain every day within this radius. Using the latent heat of condensation, the amount of energy being produced by this rain is about 6 times 10 to the power of 14 watts, or about 5.1 times 10 to the power of 19 joules per day. What is this in more relatable terms? It is about 200 times the worldwide electrical generating capacity, or 52 billion lightning strikes. The kinetic energy generated to maintain the winds is equal to about 1.5 times 10 to the power of 12 watts, or about 1.3 times 10 to the power of 17 joules per day. The heat released from a hurricane alone is equivalent to a 10 megaton nuclear bomb exploding every 20 minutes. To shrink a category 5 hurricane to a category 2 hurricane, you'd have to add half a billion tons of air to the eye of the hurricane, which is an enormous amount of air and is not super practical to move around. It is possible that bombing a hurricane could simply just add to the storm's heat supply, which would make it even stronger. So then, why don't we just nuke them when they are much smaller and weaker, such as when they are in the tropical depression stage which I mentioned earlier. It's a pure numbers game. There are around 80 tropical depressions in the Atlantic each year, but only around 5 of these turn into hurricanes, with no way to tell in advance which ones will turn into a hurricane. But the biggest reason to not even if it was to have a positive or a negative effect on the hurricane, it would create a radioactive hurricane which would wreak havoc on land as trade winds spread the fallout even further. Although hurricanes produce devastating effects, a radioactive hurricane would be even worse. So long story short, no. Hurricanes are enormous beasts compared to a nuclear bomb. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.